In France, uh, there's been an old tradition of uh, uh, kind of what we call Franco-Judaism, I mean, special way of being both French and Jewish. Of course, this way of being Jewish, or this Jewish identity, this was extremely French, and uh, during the last, well, the 19th century and until 1940, the Jews had the impression of having a particular happy destiny in France, and of course, it's more, even more than the Hitlerism, the fact that the French government in 1940 uh, decided a special treatment for the Jews was really the end of a kind of, uh, uh, of, of the idea of the French that there was a kind of miracle in their relation with the French, uh, with the French state. So um, after World War II, things have been different from the past and um, the Jews knew that uh, whatever the country was and whatever their patriotism was, uh, anything might happen. What well, is general, general experience of the Jews, not especially French. But in France, it was kind of shock uh, and something which was really different from what had happened before. Um, the Six Day War was a moment of complete panic of all the French Jews just like other Jewish populations in the world. And since then, since this period, there have been both a kind of revival of Jewish consciousness. Um, the, what is the problem for the Jews in France is of a general kind. That means uh, uh, there is the Muslim problem, or what is considered as a Muslim problem. And of course, uh, the uh, the influence of the Israeli-Palestine problem, which has as a result that the uh, most of the left of the left part of the population has begun to be anti-Israeli and easy to go from anti-Israeli to anti-Semitism, and that the part of the, uh, of the grandson, sons and grandsons of the Muslim migrants have become extremely anti-Semitic. Uh, there is always a tendency of the Israeli embassy to um, do a little more than it should do, but there is strong reactions to that, and I don't have the impression uh, some, when there's a when there were the war of Lebanon, at the time of the war, I mean, in '82, my father received a phone call from the Israeli embassy uh, protesting uh, against what he had written, and uh, uh, and of course the embassy shouldn't yes. have done that. But I think they are now much more uh, cautious and. Uh, I don't have the impression that they intervened that much. Okay, after what happened was Netanyahu coming to Toulouse for the... Uh, yes, he was wrong. He was wrong. He shouldn't have you gone. You think? Yes. In France, he shouldn't have gone. And it's just saying that gives the impression of the, you know, dual loyalty, yes. which is exactly what shouldn't be said in France. Yes.